Now we will see Atenancy 5 on IO ports. Atenancy 5 on IO ports uses 4 IO ports, port 0 to port 3. All these ports can either be used as an individual 8 bit number. So we can combine all 8 pins which gives us 8 bit number or each pin can be programmed to set or clear individually. Some ports have got dual function, only port 1 has got no dual function. Port 0 can also be used as a multiplexed low order at the center bus. Port 1 there is no dual function. Port 2 provides us high order address bus. So port 0 and port 2 combinedly gives us 16 bit address bus. Port 0 also provides the data bus. Port 3 provides multiple functions like RxD, TxD for serial port, external interrupt inputs INT0, INT1, timer counter inputs T0, T1, and when we interface some external memory, WR and RD are used to connect with the external memory. This is the typical port configuration. We have got a D latch, then there are two buffers, one latch to read the output of this D latch, other latch to read the pin configuration or pin status. These two latches are uh, under control of instructions. According to the instruction, either we read the internal latch or the pin status. There is a transistor which is connected to Q1 of this latch and with active cooler. Finally, this is the external pin of microcontroller. So when we write some logic 0 to this D latch, Q becomes 0, Q bar becomes 1. This one turns on this transistor. When this MOSFET is turned on, the pin is pulled down by the MOSFET and we will get logic 0 on pin. When we write logic 1 to D latch, Q becomes 1, Q bar becomes 0, so this transistor is off. So the pin is pulled 1 by the internal active flow. This also allows us, because this transistor is cut off, this circuitry is completely disconnected. So this can also be used as an input. So what we write to make the port input is logic 1 to the internal data latch. So when we write 1 to this internal data latch, the transistor turns off, which will disconnect all this entire internal circuit and now our pin will be just pulled up by the internal active pull up. And now we can read the data from the pin using the data input instructions. So this is how the course of 8951 works. Thank you very much.